So we looked at using GitHub last time, just a basic generic overview. This time we're going to look specifically at creating a new repository. So we click that plus button. We're going to add a new repository. We're going to go call this uh, test repo. We'll give it a description. This is, this is a demonstration uh, test. So what we want to do is create a new repository, a new place to store things. And we can initialize that with a readme. We can add gitignore. We can add some licenses. Um, essentially, do you want to just create an empty repository, or do you want to actually have it filled in with a few things and then start adding to it? Normally, I create an empty repository. We're going to go ahead and add a license file just so we have something to, to work with here, because we're going to, we're going to really focus on the using the GUI on the website and uh, make some changes here. So we've initiated our repository and it starts out on the initial commit with one file and that's this license file. Uh, licenses is uh, definitely a subject for further discussion but, but not here. We're looking just at how we can change and update things. So let's create a new file in our repository. So we're again, we're just using the GUI here. We'll call this the test file. We're just using the web interface to create some files and see how things work. And let's fill in some information. Uh, test file, blah, blah, blah. All right, great. So here we, we filled in a file. We're going to commit that file. It gives some suggested names like create test file. Uh, we're going to write something else, created a test file, and we're going to write a long description. This is just the test file. And then we're going to uh, commit that new file. So here we go. We've added this new file to our repository. Uh, latest commit is just now. Here's our test file. We can click on it, see what it looks like. We can edit it. Let's go ahead and edit it. We'll add and block. All right, so we've added, added some more information. We're going to accept the default and just hit commit changes. There you go. It shows us the changes right away. Here's what we've, what we've done. Let's edit it. We uh, forgot to capitalize the A, so we'll capitalize that and blah. There we go. We'll just go ahead and commit that, and that way we can take a look at a couple commits. So. It's really simple to add files, edit files here on the website, web interface, web GUI. You can see our commits that we have here. And we have the initial commit that we did. We added our license file, um, which GitHub added for us. Pretty handy. Um, let's go back. We'll look at where we created our test file. Here it shows us that we have one changed file, two commits or two additions, excuse me, two additions to that one changed file. Both show up green there. Here we're going to have another addition of another green line with the plus at the beginning saying this has been added. And then here we have one that we had a deletion and an addition. So the red is the things that are deleted and the green are the things that are added. So it's a pretty handy tool, easy to work with, easy to look at. Just shows you um, what's changed. And it's, it's just really, uh, really simple there. We can also always click on these buttons here to go back and look at the repository as if we're taking a snapshot and looking at it at a different point in time, essentially going back to the past and looking at all the files as they were at that time. So creating a new file, pretty simple. Editing files, very simple. And using the web GUI, very simple.